One of my most popular videos so far has been building this cheese press. Originally we found the plans for it online and we put a link to those plans in our video description. But that link hasn't worked in a while. I've been getting a lot of questions about those plans. I don't have them anymore and even if I did, I'm not sure for copyright reasons that I could just scan and post them on a website. What I can do is make this video where I just measure all the parts for you. You can pause, rewind, rewatch, and make notes for yourself if you want to build this cheese press. This is what it looks like when it's built. And here's how it works. We're going to use a sponge for our simulated cheese. The lever just slips underneath this pin. Let me give you a closer look. We just hang water bottles on the other end of that lever. If it needs to be more pressure, just add another water bottle or use a larger one. If it needs to be less pressure, just don't fill the water bottles up quite as much. It's very easy to calibrate if you can put a scale under here to get precisely what you need. I'm not sure how much pressure you need for making cheese. Wendy makes the cheese. Probably it's different for different types of cheese. This extra hole is so you can change the pin position and have yet another way of altering the pressure on the, on the device. Wendy has let me know that this distance might be better if it was a little bit taller. It'd be just a little easier to lift that plunger up and get the cheese out. If I was gonna build another one of these, I'd probably just build it bigger proportionally overall. I'm just using bolts for these pins. This one happens to be six inches long. And this one's eight. Let's start with the parts that I get the most questions about. These plywood supports are pretty easy to make. You just start with squares of plywood. It doesn't have to be too thick, it just needs to be sturdy. Eight and a quarter inches tall by seven inches wide. This dimension is five and a quarter, so then you would just cut your angle right along there. And the two pin positions are two and a quarter from the left, four and three quarters down, five and a quarter from the left, and three and three quarters down. As I recall, the original directions weren't super clear to me exactly how many or where to put the holes, so I just did a whole bunch so we'd have a lot of flexibility to work with. In this case, the plunger itself is 18 and a half inches long and the holes are about an inch apart and they start five inches down and end down at 16 inches with the top and the bottom. Incidentally, if you're interested in the techniques I used to build this, I'll put a link right here to my first video of building this. I'll also put a link at the end of the video. This whole thing is made basically from 2x6s and 2x2s plus those plywood pieces. Of course, 
two by twos are actually an inch and a half square and the two by sixes are more like five and a half inches wide. The directions called for a piece of plexiglass four by five inches to slip back here and honestly I'm not sure that it makes a big difference maybe it keeps it from denting a little bit back there but I don't think it really makes a difference to the cheese press the two by sixes are 12 inches from here to here and 20 inches from the tabletop to the very top which of course means these 2 by 2s are also going to be 20 inches tall and these support base 2 by 2s are 22 inches long these two 2 by 6s are also 12 inches wide but they're not really 2 by 6s I've recreated them to be the same exact dimension as that 2 by 6 that seemed to me the easiest way to get these holes in there. So using a table saw, I just cut through there to keep my two by two opening and the two by two opening is actually an inch and a half square. My plunger, I believe I sanded down or ripped down on the table saw a little bit so that it would slide nice and easily in there. These two by twos were 11 and a quarter inches on the sides, four and three eighths on the back with a gap of two and three quarters and then the arm itself is 20 inches long. The little notch is just about an inch and a quarter down. Of course your hole goes right through the middle straight through all these pieces. Other than that it's pretty symmetrical. You can see I've just uh, screwed everything together very simply. Best of luck with your endeavors.